This is the finish line of the Grand Masters sailing one of the heats at the recent 2015 Master Worlds in Kingston. It's a fantastic example of good communication between boats. To the left, there's two boats approaching the finish line on port, and they're going to have to give way to a boat on starboard. Let's listen in. At 5, so that's an example of the good. Here's an example of the bad, and it actually happens quite a lot. There's a boat approaching the finish line on port, and he'll tack at the pin to finish, but in doing so, he fouls another boat. Three nine eight 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 one four six three eight two seven six two zero two five seven zero. As we'll see at the end of this video, that exact same situation determined the winner of the Great Grandmaster World Championship. This next video shows what a fantastic job the girls did on the finishing line. We've seen the good, and we've seen the bad. Now we're going to see the crazy. The finishing line is quite close to shore, and there's lots of shifts that affect many sailors. I'm willing to bet that what we see here has never happened before at a Laser Worlds. See if you can spot what happened. Five, eight, six, seven. Six, seven, five, four. Oh. There we go. Get the fingers. Five, nine, five, seven, two, seven, one, three, zero. Go behind, can't get it. Then three, three, zero, one. Eight, eight, three, nine. Did you see it? Let's look at it again. Three nine eight eight. Both behind then eight one and four six. Both behind was eight zero four zero. Zero five four four. Also there and then eight. We have just seen a laser finish a race with a skipper holding on to the stern. So who is this crazy Aussie sailor? who's always looking for different ways to sail a laser. Why, it's Peter from Sydney. You know, the laser foiling guy. Good guy and very good sailor. We end this video with a sequence from the last race on the last day of the championship. It's the Great Grand Masters finishing. Defending champion Mark Bethwaite has a slim three-point lead over Alan Keane from South Africa. You can see the pin on the right. Alan is leading the race and Mark is in fifth place. Mark has to finish no worse than fourth to win on the tiebreak. Dave Frazier from the USA and Robert Blakey from New Zealand are battling it out for second place. Dave has to tack onto port to get to the finish line. Alan wins the race and Dave Liebaus, Robert trying for second place at the pin. It's too close and Dave has fouled Robert. Mark approaches the finish line on port. 
he's in fifth place and thinks he's lost the championship by a single point. On the right, Dave asks Robert, are you going to protest me? Robert answers, yes. Mark crosses the line on port, unaware that Dave is doing his 720 behind him. Mark has finished the race, has rounded the pin, and is heading for home. He's unaware that Dave Fraser is refinishing. As a result, Mark successfully defends his world championship on a tiebreak.